How are we to respond to our changing world? While some are neglecting their faith, others are searching for the truth. We have taken upon ourselves the name of the Savior. What more are we to do? Part of our answer may come as we remember how the Lord tutored President Russell M. Nelson in the months prior to his call as president of the church. Speaking one year before his call, President Nelson invited us to more deeply study the 2,200 references of the name Jesus Christ listed in the topical guide. Three months later, in April General Conference, he spoke of how, even his dec in his decades of devoted discipleship, this deeper study of Jesus Christ had greatly affected him. Sister Wendy Nelson asked him about its impact. He replied, I am a different man. He was a different man at age 92, a different man? President Nelson explained, as we invest time in learning about the Savior and his atoning sacrifice, we are drawn to him. Our focus becomes riveted on the Savior and his gospel. The Savior said, look unto me in every thought. In a world of work, worries, and worthy endeavors, we keep our heart, our mind, and our thoughts on him who is our hope and salvation. If a renewed study of the Savior helped prepare President Nelson, could it not help prepare us as well? In emphasizing the name of the church, President Nelson taught, if we are to have access to the power of the atonement of Jesus Christ, to cleanse and heal us, to strengthen and magnify us, and ultimately to exalt us, we must clearly acknowledge him as the source of that power. President Nelson taught us that consistently using the correct name of the church, something that might seem like a small thing, is not small at all and will shape the world's future. I promise you that as you prepare yourselves as President Nelson, President Nelson did, you too will be different. Thinking more about the Savior, speaking of him more frequently and with less hesitation as you come to know and love him even more deeply, your words will flow more comfortably as they do when you speak of one of your children or of a dear friend. Those listening to you will feel less like debating or dismissing you and more like learning from you. You and I speak of Jesus Christ, but maybe we can do a little better. If the world is going to speak less of him, who is going to speak more of him? We are along with other devoted Christians.